Welcome back everybody. Hope you're all having a great day today. So, still working on the big city here. I've got quite a bit to go it looks like. So last time I kind of dinked around and finished this uh, little walkway over here. Just to add a little bit of greenery and stuff to the city. So today I'm going to get started on the butcher shop. So along this wall here, oh, oh, that's not very good. So along this wall, once I put the rose bush back, where's my shovel? I pictured the road would continue going this way. So I have the road going along here, and there will be buildings all along this side, and there'll be two stories. So on the first floor, we'll have one shop. And then on the second floor, we'll either have like a house. You know, you see the shops where people live up above. Or we'll have more shops up here. I'm thinking more shops. Although now I've got to think of more shops to go in these buildings. But that's fine. Let's just clear this snow out. I thought it would be kind of cool with the right up against the wall here because i really if i don't want i don't want to put a building here and have the roof right here at the top so i really need to make a taller building and then i think i'm going to do once i get the taller building in here do an awning that goes over this and keeps all this snow from accumulating down here because the snow is a pain but you have heard me rant and rave about the snow before, so let's not do that today. Okay, so let's see. If I do like that, and I can just go back here. And then we'll have like a door here. So this will be the, into the main shop. And the floor is all going to be like this. Come on. So these mud bricks, I think, will make a good floor. If I can stop double tapping. Like that. Yeah, so that makes it a little difficult for the second story. Because if I'm... You're doing... You know, this building here. So I've got this building here. That would be... So that makes a good roof so the floor would have to be here I'm not sure about that double doors make sense I think I can deal with the oblong shape although I was thinking well I thought maybe I could dig into the wall there but I can't because I have um, I've got this uh, low low clearance Yeah, that'd be fine. So do this. So this would be the back wall. And the window 
Yeah, if we do a lower window right there. And then a couple smaller windows there. I'll put some like grates or something in there. So this would be like the working space back here. This will be where the customers come in. There'll be a wall like, yeah, like right here. Separating the customers from the workspace back there. And I can't go into, yeah, I can't go into that wall like I thought I could. For some reason, I thought this wall was a little taller. Like this one, I could dig out and make a hole and put shops inside that wall there. Here, we're kind of restricted. Like if I do a step in here. Like that, let's say that is my second story starter. And now it almost makes sense that this would be like the house. So this is the house where they live. And this is their shop. You know, stairs up in the shop, you got to go around and up. But I think that'll be, they'll have to live with that. So let's just see if this roof works or the ceiling actually. Yeah, that ceiling's way too low. I'm going to need the ceiling to be here. And I think I could do that. Yeah, I think I could get away with the ceiling there. Especially if I do like a two-stepper up. Yeah, so that would be the step in. that which means I need a um, that wouldn't be the floor though with that oh yeah I, d I still need that floor there so so it looks good from the bottom okay, do I have any andesite 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 Let's go find some andesite. Okay, so I added in an outside stairway so you can get to it from here. I'll need to put like a little wall around here, probably with some trap doors. So you have a, so you have this private entrance here and then there's another entrance here. I mean, they look like they're right next to each other, but you can't get to this one from up here and you can't get to this one from down there. So they are separate. And this makes like a very plain siding, but I think that kind of fits with the building. So now let's, uh, let's see if we can do something about the roof. So I've got some oak slabs and I think I need some birch as well. So we'll put this here. That kind of makes sense. This will be like maybe a little kitchenette thingamabobber here. Okay, so let's see what we can do about the roof. I think let's go off one here. There and then next level would be here. I'm just trying to randomly put these on here. And I'm hoping this uh, here will tie into the first floor with the brick just being the second floor area. 
Let's see here. That. There. Okay, and then one more level here. So far, so good. Oops, let's um do that just in case. Okay, so that's so uh, that's working out here. I think all I'm gonna need to do is like put that there, and maybe this here, and maybe that there, and then we'll do the same thing over on uh, this side over here. Does not look half bad if I say so myself. Very nice. And I don't think I've ever put a building with this pallet together, which is always uh, something nice for a change. As I, uh, you know, after doing this for so many years, you tend to repeat yourself. So. I have to work really hard to not do the same thing over and over. So I so I'm always trying to, you know, try new things, different palettes, different colors, stuff I've never tried before, I wouldn't even think of trying. So something like this, I don't believe I've ever mixed in the birch and the the oak and this you know mud brick before. And I actually don't not like it. Does that make sense? I like it. So that's good. Okay. I think I'm going to need something else here, like a pillar or something. Um, don't think I want to do like spruce fence or anything. Let's do get rid of these. Uh, andesite wall. It's, uh, I don't think I need any of this anymore. Maybe I got some fancy, fancy pillars here. If I put one here and one here. Like that. That's going to be a window up there. And those are going to be windows down there. Oh, and I do have... couple copper doors. Oh, those doors look nice. I don't know if they actually patina or not. We'll find out. And then maybe yeah, another door. That, oh yeah, I did open this up. This is like um, going to be like cold storage and stuff for the meat. Since this is a butcher shop, I thought it would make sense to have a cold storage room, which means I need a different door. Maybe an iron door. Snow, 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 snow. Where is my iron? Fire, there we go. And that's good. I did even have a lever, so. Do I have another? I need to find something for that. Maybe bamboo door or something for that porch over there. I think maybe just plain old oak. An old staple from long ago. Okay, so here. That can be the freezer door. And then let's do, yeah, like 
that. Um, let's do this. There. Oh, I hate trying to shift on scaffolding because it's a pain. Like that. There. Screen and porch. Yeah, that'll be nice. So we got a little screened in porch there. We have our front porch here. I think we can do a similar thing. Yeah, I think that'll work. We have our main door here, like that, and then we need to do something here. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. So what goes up above there? Oh, I need a, uh, I need a birch slab. So let's see. I want to put a couple lanterns here by the door. Let's look like a bush here and a bush here. And then we will... Uh, like just sort of scatter in some leaves like I said the road will keep going this way so it's like back one so I guess this here that'll need to turn to grass how do I end up with four when we only dug out two or three. I dug out three and I ended up with four. Oh, I dug one other way. I'm going crazy. Ay, ay, ay. It's about time for me to go to bed, I think. Okay, so let's get rid of uh, these for now. To stick in some windows. Yeah, I thought about putting like bars on these windows back here, but nah. Don't need those. Inventory management. So let's say you come in here. Like this would be the main counter. And this over here, we got like a little coffee maker, maybe. If you're coming into the butcher shop, maybe you see a coffee maker. Not sure. And then I'm going to actually. Let's go. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm putting that line across the top there. Because. Oh, and I need to. So if I do like that. This is kind of like an advertising pork chops so 
So instead of uh, making a glass counter there, I'm just putting these up above. Because like in a butcher shop, you come by and you have a counter. But sometimes making those glass counters, it doesn't look quite right. But I think this will suffice. So we have that there. So I think that's good. And then let's put in like the rest of this stuff. Let's get rid of uh, for right now. I don't need this or this or this or this or that or that. Okay, so we come in here in the back. Let's dig this out. We're going to have a smoker there. Uh, I'm going to put a light here. No, I can't put a light there. Where can I put a light? Um, let's see if I take out this. Oops, that's not going to work. There we go. If I take out that, that'd be fine. But that doesn't fix my light issue. But it would if I did that. I can't take out this. Because that goes to the outside. I can't actually even do anything with that. So I, I do need to keep this because I need to change those to dirt. Um, lantern, lantern, lantern. Where would, I, where would I go if I were a lantern? I think I need those andesite blocks back. Yeah. Because then I can do... That. that lights things up there and then light things up here put a couple furnaces right there if I do sink there burner thing here maybe a composter there just trying to make this look like a, a work area then I can do this we have our table there. So we come in here, we have a work table. That's a little cramped, isn't it? Let's do this. There. Let's kind of do a, a table like that. Let's get rid of this. And I'm going to put that over here by the window. So I can come, oh, maybe, maybe. That would go better in the corner there, yeah. And then let's pop this out and put in the crafting table right there. Yeah, that kind of opens things up, makes it look a little nicer. And then in here, this is where I would have some chests and a couple barrels. And that's where all the meat's going to be stored in there. And I could actually pop this out and put a barrel there. And pop this out and put a barrel there. There we go. So a little cramped and small, but that is the walk-in freezer or refrigerator. So I think, yeah, this, I think this is looking good. I think I got the butcher shop part done. Um, I was going to, let's do, do I have any, I do have some of, oh, here we go. Some of these, these, because I think it would look, um, put a seat. Yeah, let's just put a seat in the corner there. And put another bench here. Actually, I don't even need that spruce thing. So just a couple benches here. So you can sit down and wait. Come up here and order. Okay, so that takes care of the butcher shop. Now we just need to do the living quarters upstairs.
Okay, so here, let's do... Oh, there we go. This, 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 that. Um, oh, maybe one more. That and that. About there. And then I'm going to hang a lamp. Oops, from here. Because I was having trouble figuring out how to attach it to the building. So it looks better if I... Uh, yeah, I'll just dangle it there. That'll kind of light up the road and the house. So we have this here. So I think I'm going to do let's take two of these. I'm going to put couple beds over here and we're going to use spruce doors to like kind of like partition that off so when you come into here you don't really get into that bedroom area I don't know if this this will work well, this is definitely not going to work. Or just something like that, maybe. See, so I can a light there and a light here. That'll be good. Oh. Might as well fill in these windows while I'm here. That'll be fine. And then here. Okay, so we got windows here. There. And then over in this corner, I'm going to stick a oops, stove, a little cooking thing. So it's kind of like a little kitchenette area with storage. And this would be like an eating area here. Where is it? There we go. Oak. This. So we have a little eating table. And then back here, I'll just put a few extra, like, well, maybe I could put a desk here. That would work. If I did this, put like a desk here. And then a little more storage in this corner, like here. And then a little there. And one there. So a nice modest little house for the butcher to live in. Oh, I was going to do, let's see, put a little rabbit skin on the wall. Oh, and I was going to get some uh, pots. Oh, and I need that dirt. That dirt I had before needs to go here. So let's there fill in those holes there. 
Yeah, that looks good now. I'm just gonna stick a flower here and there. Maybe hit it with a little bit of bone meal. We'll just path this part up. Okay, I think that. I'm gonna pile in. Maybe there and there. Add a little bit of greenery to it. Okay, I think that would be good. Well, then here, I'm just going to uh, stick like a flower pot. Will the flower pot go on top of that? No, it kind of floats. So let's do flower pot there. A little bush over in that corner. Yeah, there we go. Home sweet home. Alrighty, got my first house done. So that's a combination of butcher shop and house. Yeah, I think I like that. Yeah, so I'm going to continue to do this along here. So I'll have another house over here. I'll probably have a garden over here. Another house over there. Another house over there. And maybe I can probably get one, two, three more, possibly. And then the road would just angle over to that road over there in front of all those houses. So that is looking good. So... I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you're having a great day. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye now.